Hi there, I'm Ludwig and this is Data Platform Mic Learning. In today's episode, I want to address the concept of data types. Now, you may know that, that we have multiple uh, data types uh, from integer, tiny integer, big integer, unique identifier, date time offsets, date time two, and so on and so forth. But we also have text-based data types like car and varcar, ncar and nvarcar. Now, the n part, we'll discuss about that on the mm, different episode here on Data Platform platform mic learning so don't forget to subscribe so you can stay on top of your data platform game but today we're talking about the difference between car and varkar now i put the ruler icon in here just to uh, present the concept that we'll be discussing uh, so again without further ado let's uh, talk code right now as you can see i just created this super simple table in here i call this table uh, car versus varkar and i do have uh, some columns in here like ID, which will be again a tiny integer, so it will take any values from 0 to 255, and it will be an identity column, meaning that I will uh, auto increment or SQL Server will auto in increment this um, row every single time I'm adding a new one. Now, I will create four columns. There will be two car columns, so car 7 and car 20, and var car 7 and var car 20. Now, uh, let me just do that right now. Boom, execute, ta I've already created that table, so let me just make sure that I'll drop it first. So drop table car versus var car. Run, ta I don't need to see the explorer in here. And again, I can create this table. I I'll just check that it does not exist by just selecting data from it. Run, ta -dam. you can see that this object doesn't exist. So I will create this object right now. Hit run, ta -dam. command completed successfully. So I can select the data from that table right now, even though it's empty, ta -dam. All right, perfect. Now, what I want to do is I want to insert the data to this table, uh, to the columns that I created, car7, car20, varcar7, varcar20, and to each one of them, I will insert just the word sample, all right? So, insert this data, run, one row of, uh, was affected because I have inserted all of those values into just one row, and I want to select all of the data from that table. Now, there's interesting thing happening in here already. So you can see that I have the word sample. Of course, let me just uh, add something else. Sample uh, text that's longer than seven and longer than 20, all right? So you can see that I inserted a way longer uh, string in here to see what will happen if I'll overflow that data type. Because you may remember that when I was creating this table, I said, car seven, meaning that this is the limit for that particular column. And each one of them, they do have different uh, limits. Now I'll hit run, ta -dam. I do get the information that the data would be truncated to sample because this is what we will have in there. Again, if I'll go with my select, it was not made, um, it, it was not put through, but, but what I'll do, Tadam is I'll put the very same oh, control Z control X. I'll put the very same information into var car. Boom, control V, run it, and boom, I do see the information, the same information, the same error in here as well. So the data would be truncated. I don't want to allow that, that truncation to happen. So you can see that in both car and var car data types, the data the number that I'm putting in here is the limit of the number of characters that they can put into that particular column, all right? So sample, 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 it worked it's perfectly fine, but sample text that's longer than seven and longer than 20 will not go through to neither one of those columns. So what I want to do right now is explain the main difference. And I told you that straight from this very simple select, uh, what's happening is that I do see something interesting because the uh, car seven table, the car seven column is quite narrow and car 20 is 
quite wide, even though it has a lot of spaces in here, right? Now, in the uh, case of Varkar, they are both of the same size, regardless of having Varkar 7 and Varkar 20 at the same time, right? So, what's going on here? Well, let's check the lengths of uh, each one of those columns. What I'll do right now is I'll, again, I don't want to insert anything anymore, so I'll just delete it. And what I want to do is I want to select data from each one of those columns. You know what? I'll just do it like this. It will be faster. Boom. I want to select each one of those columns from my car versus versus Varkar. Table. I'll hit run. Uh, forgot about that parenthesis. Execute. The reason why I have this underlined is because the Azure Data Studio still did not uh, comprehend the concept of me having that table after I've uh, dropped it a moment ago. And what I want to do is I want to check the length of that uh, of each one of those columns, right? So again, the len function will allow me to check, boom, what I'll do right now is this. Boom, I'll just fix this code real quick in here and apply the len function, control C, oops, control C to each one of those columns, just like that. Here we go. And you can see that the length of each one of those rows is, as expected, six. But this is the length of the data, all right? If that was the only thing that we could check, there would be no difference. And this entire video wouldn't make any sense and, the, and having the car versus var car tables wouldn't make any sense at all. But there is another thing. And this other thing is the other uh, function, which is called data length because data length will show me not the actual uh, data length. Yeah, that's how it's spelled. Uh, the data length will not show me only uh, the number of characters that I'm seeing here, or you know what? Let me just put it like this. Boom. No, that doesn't make any sense. So data length. Ta -da, that's quite hard to spell. <laughs> And control C, control V, control V, control V without the len at the end. And what I'm seeing in here right now, boom, is the actual data, and this is important, the actual data storage that will be used for each one of those columns, all right? So let's take a look. Data length for each one of them, run, and there is seven. 26 and 6 right now why did it differ why did i have two different result sets for the two different values for each one of those columns now the car column will always store the same number of characters as is in this limit that I've applied in here, all right? So if I'm saying that I'm creating the car 20 column, it means that I'll always store in that column, I'll always store the fixed number of characters, which in this case is 20. In this case, it's seven and it will always be seven. If I'll uh, insert just one character or five or seven, it will be always seven. If I insert the word sample, which is six characters, S-A-M-P-L-E, it's always seven characters. In 20, boom, I always see 20. You can see that by the simplest example ever. Boom. If I'll say uh, select, let's say that I want to select the text uh, sample, just like that. All right. Boom. Execute. And I'm displaying sample. Now, if you are working Oracle, we don't need to select from something. On SQL Server, we can just select data. So if I'll change, uh, check the length of that word, ta -da, you will see that is it, it is in six, indeed six, um, six uh, characters. If I'll check the data length, boom, of that word, 
execute, it's still 6. But if I'll put it like this, with additional spaces, ta -dam, it's still 20. Well, it's just a coincidence that this is 20, so let me add some more in here. Boom, run. This is 26, because I do have 6 um, six characters in here and then 20 spaces. You can, we can count it together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 spaces all together, right? So if you are choosing the data type that and if you're choosing designing your solution designing your data platform solution and you're using the car data types you should only use that if you have indeed the fixed amount of data right if you have something like um or if you have the data that will vary in size then by all means use the var car but of course as if with every single else uh, in life this all, all those coins they do have two sides so car data type will always store more information even if you put less data into your column but whenever your data will be pulled from your hard disks SQL Server will always know that hey the next 20 characters belong to this particular column regardless whether there's just one character and let uh, the rest be filled up with spaces or whether there are entire 20 characters right the var car is will be more efficient in terms of storage but it will be less efficient in terms of reading the data for example because for each one of the rows that will be read from your uh, hard disk SQL Server will need to count how many of those characters are because after the sixth character, for example, the next varkar column will begin, right? So again, depending on the data type that you will use, you will see the different performance or, or you optimize your solution for the performance or for storage, depending on the data type that you will use. So as usual, this concludes today's episode. If you like that video, give it a like and I cannot tell you anything more than just to ask you to subscribe to Data Platform, Microlearning, and I will see you in the next episode.